Hey guys, Tank here. Welcome to RC Talk. Uh, sorry I'm a little late tonight, but uh, we are on. And uh, yes, I am letting my beard grow because I'm going to be Santa Claus this year. Yes, I'm going to be giving out some gifts. Ha ha ha. Not ha ha ha, but ho ho ho. Um, Audi from Austin, Texas. Hey Sergio, how are you doing? And we have... Uh, AZ Froggy that just joined us also. Hello. Hola. Uh, Look what I got for the trails. Oh, cool. Nice. Gotta put that on the trail. It's nice and big too. Like it's 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 a nice size. So I'm gonna yeah. put that on the trail. I we got a hill because there's a group here called uh, Grizzly RC. So yes. Grizzly RC four wheel drive, they call themselves. And nice. I'm part of that group now. They come here and they do some work on the trails. So I've been looking for a grizzly to put on top of the hill that they helped me build with a concrete hill. Uh, I call that the grizzly hill. So I'm going to put that on top of the hill. So Cool. <clears throat> cool, cool. This weekend I'm having an event and I want the people to uh, do a hashtag. Uh, they're going to take a picture and put it on social media under um, uh, grizzlyrc4wd. Mm -hmm. Hashtag Grizzly RC for WD and also the tank RC. And whoever does that might win something. Have some fun with them. Cool. I got to check something here. Your check, check one, two. Yeah, I'm working on a new internet setup. So I'm making sure I got a oh. decent signal and all. So wireless or can... wired? Uh, wireless. Uh, Kevin Gibbs says, hello, Frank. Hey, Brett. What's up, Kevin? Oh, so other than that, I'm just going through stuff and arranging stuff and clearing stuff out. It, it's it's crazy. Uh, the title of this... Uh, so my area is a full mess now. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Are you live? Can I think I'm lagging a bit YouTube? here. It says I'm live. Yeah, it. I got the notification saying you were live. Oh, yeah? Tony yeah. from CCXRC says he didn't. Hmm. Are you still sub to me, uh, Tony? Maybe you're not sub to me. That could be an issue. You know, you, you do have to sub to some people. No, I'm just kidding. Just <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Brad is cheating on you in the Icon RC Live. Oh, really? He's over there. Uh-huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Slacker. So who's Icon? I don't even think I, I'm following him. What I don't know who that is either. Is it Icon RC or what is it? Icon. Who the heck is Icon? No clue. Me neither. That's why um, I'm gonna just going to check right now. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and pop off and change the internet deal to see if it's a little bit better. So bear with me a little bit. Okay. Be right back. Cool. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Hello. Hello. Icon is a bunch of singers. What's that? Icon is a bunch of singers. No, Tony in the chat saying that Brad is cheating on me. He's on I on Icon Live. And I'm trying to find the live just to go on there and say, hey, I'm live. Get out of there and get in here. <laughs> oh, uh, maybe we'll he says back in a few kids are in bed. Uh kids to bed. Cool. Bronco, Bronco, Bronco. Yeah, there's uh, a lot of people that are building Broncos these days. Yep. Uh, CJ uh, Felia Serran. Comment ça va? From Mana Manila. Cool. There's a lot of European people on this channel. That's crazy. I Any actually cool? saw a real new Bronco the other night on Bell Road out here. Oh, yeah? It was actually not bad looking. It was a four door version. Okay. It looked really nice. And I'm not a Ford guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
It looks it looks really nice. The new Ford, uh, it, it looks very sexy. And uh, hopefully some more guys are going to come out with some different bodies uh, for that. So uh, I can't wait to uh, see what comes out of there. Uh oh. Oh. Hold on, John. I don't know. John's dropping oh. everything. He's not in his uh, shop tonight. No. No, not yet. I had to go grab some power cords so I can uh, make it back there. <laughs> oh. Well, you got no power there? You got to bring a power cord? No, my phone. I'm using my phone at the moment and the battery's at 10%. <laughs> That might cause an issue. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not, not only that, but I got to lock a dog up. <laughs> ah. He likes to eat everything. Oh, okay. fun. Whether, whether he's supposed to or not. That's not good. No. Not at all. Okay. Uh, who's in the chat? Let's see who's in the chat. Participant. JC uh, Villaceran. JC Villaceran is there. Cody Vandenberg. Kevin Gibbs. RC84 Films. Curter RC are there in the chat. And Tony from CCXRC. Yep. Good <laughs> there, Mr. Jake. So how many of you saw my... Uh, Tracks a summit uh, in the river. Right here. Yeah, I seen it. Hey, Frank. A little late, but okay. Uh, I was just talking to the, some guys on uh, Streamyard uh, who are from Ohio, Mo Bay and them. Yeah, Tony told me that you were cheating on me. You were on somebody else's uh, live stream, and uh, you didn't send me an, an invite yet, so I didn't go there. You hadn't sent like, me an invite yet. I'm so I'm so disappointed in me not sending you an invite uh, in, in advance. <laughs> make sure you wouldn't go look somewhere else for your uh, YouTube fix. Uh, oh, but I, 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 I'm just <laughs> waiting for you to get on, so I ended up I, finding them before you over an hour ago. I would like to know from you, Brad, if who in YouTube invites you into their live stream other than me. I, why are you getting on my case when I told you? No. It was a, yeah, I, I just want you to answer a simple question. Like I, I'm being fair to you. I invite you. Actually, to J, uh, John has. And, when he, John has. And, and, and I, I care about you. And, 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 and what do you do <laughs> while I'm, I'm here? Why are you complaining? Look somewhere else for your YouTube fix. <laughs> why are you complaining when I'm here? Well, I don't know why. I, they were still going and I left. I, I, it's, I'm it's, gonna send my bear so after you. That's to what's gonna happen. He, he's yeah, gonna oh, the, after a you. bear, a, a black bear. What, what's with the black bear? It's a, it's, it's my grizzly. It's my grizzly RC. I'm gonna put Good him on the shelf. <laughs> hey, Earl, how are you doing? No, I'm just pulling your leg, uh, Brad. I'm glad you're here and um, glad you could make it. And uh, I just felt like being silly tonight, you know. They, they were they were doing a they were doing a giveaway too, and I think I, got I don't something. care what other people are doing right now. I really <laughs> don't want to know because as soon as you say giveaways, people are gonna like go away from this channel and oh, yeah, giveaway, and they're all gonna leave and go somewhere else. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were live yet. Sorry. Oh, oh yes, we are live. Uh, yes. I was, I'm, I'm, I'm usually live at 9.30. Uh, today That's I was live. Why it says live on YouTube in the upper left corner. Yes. Yeah, but I didn't see it when I was talking to him. So Up there. Way up there. That's why you open your ears so you can see what's going on. Oh, yes. <laughs> I wanted to do a YouTube a, uh, ASL. Well, I told him to join us, too, so... I told him to join you, Frank. Okay. So okay. I, I put you out there. Well, why don't you send them the invite? Send them the invite so they can join me in live. I, I, I don't know. Oh, you're the one who's in control of the thing. So, well, you, that's called forwarding an email. An email. You, you receive an email and you forward it to your friend. You can do that. You have the power. Uh, makes sense. There's a blank spot on Frank's page. Oh, yes. Sorry. Yes, there is. I didn't notice. Maybe I should go get a truck and put it there. 
So what are we talking about, Traxxas? What did they do this time? <laughs> I, I, is Traxxas dead? That's what I want to know from you guys. Uh, is Arma taken over? Is Traxxas dead? Is the the future of Traxxas, um, and that's the title of, of this YouTube tonight, is, is Traxxas dead? <clears throat> I, I'll, I'll say this. I, I think Traxxas has become stagnant. Not okay. necessarily dead, but stagnant. It's on the way of becoming dead if they don't do something quick. Now... You saying that, uh, do you think uh, Tamaya is farther than Traxxas right now? No. Okay. Uh, I don't know. They put out two new, two more re-releases and one other new buggy in the past couple, three weeks where Traxxas hasn't done anything in a few months. And they also made a whole new chassis, the TC-01. Yeah. I'm just talking just the past couple weeks, Brad, not yeah. earlier. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but they, this they, year. This year, what has Trax has brought out? They brought out that big towing, which is the like hoss. new friggin' and product. the hoss. Yeah. Okay, no, Trax has brought out the hoss. Yeah, Tamaya brought out the semi, semi, the semi tow truck, and they've got um, a re-release of the fighter buggy or fighting buggy. Yes, and they've That's got great chassis. And they've got another one that they did a re-release on, and then a third that I just saw Big Squid. Um, posted about a day ago. There, there, there's another ki- there's a body that they re-released that was an aftermarket thing, but it didn't have its own chassis, and they put it on the Hornet chassis, and that now is its new thing. Yeah, they did the new um, escort body. Yes, that too. Um, yeah, Tamaya has done a whole bunch of stuff in the past couple yeah. months where Traxxas hasn't done a whole lot since the Hoss. And, and, and you know what? Chass... Ch- uh, Tamaya may take existing chassis, but then they get some new packaging, which makes them new chassis again because they're sending more upgrade parts with them. Okay, going back on the flip side, what has Kyosho brought? Uh, they've brought back a lot of the Legendary Series vehicles. They Rampage. Yeah, the Rampage, which is, oh, down uh, another the Mad spot Van, that's which they dropped. I got two spots that are empty. What's going on? Like, What are you doing, Frank? Like my rampage gone and, and my truck is gone. What's going on? Did you sell them? Are you nuts? I wouldn't do that. I thought you liked that rampage. I thought you were gonna keep oh, that. I like car. it. Um Kyosho's also got the phaser chassis out. They just yes. released the El Camino body version. Yep. Um they've got a couple others that they're gonna be doing. So I, I'm sure another legendary series is on its way too. I'm, I'm, not, I'm positive that positive of that. I'm thinking, you know, you know, you remember the Pegasus, the, Icus, the Pegasus, and the Icarus. I bet you one day they come out with those two again, but they'll be that under wouldn't different. Wouldn't surprise me. That 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 would come under. I think they should call it the legendary series. Uh, uh, a, a legendary series, but with a different name added to it, like uh, for simple kits or something like that. Uh, That's a very Jake, simple. Yeah. Jake asked a good question. Yeah. He said, so Tamaya's releasing, re releasing old kits with new bodies. Is that like Traxxas is changing colors? No. Yeah. That's yeah, how, it is. That's to fair the point it is because, like Brad said, when they do the re releases, they also do update stuff. So you do get do a bunch of got, new stuff. Do they, do they still got the Phillips head screws? Yeah, uh, some, some chassis, some some do, some don't. Do they yeah, still have? Chassis. Do they still have bushings? Some, yeah, some do, some, some don't. Have, some have I'm, just, I'm, just, yes. I'm just throwing this out there, you know, not not to pick at Brad or anything, but I'm just throwing Brad. these out there. Uh, no, I know, you, I agree, I agree. If you, if you saw, if you saw Tamaya Legends recently, he just did a belt-driven chassis from them that has has uh, a hex hex drive screws on it. It only comes with hex drive screws. Oh. Uh, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying in general. You said that they update things. There's things yes. that need to be updated. Yeah. Well, they oh, I'm not debating that point at all. Other parts. Up, update with shocks and other parts. Yeah. Um, and Kagan came up with a good one. Kyosho Mini Z is the new four x four line that they've been doing. Yes, they also came out with that too. They have three of them now, don't they? They have a, they have a Wrangler too now, right? They've got the Jeep, the Forerunner, and the Jimny. Yeah. <clears throat> now, if, even though even though I'm going back to Traxxas on this one, I find it very very funny because I've uh, my racing season is basically over, and uh, so I'm starting to go through and update and 
go through my parts and stuff and cars, Traxxas now has pro-built transmissions. Yeah, you know what that means? Yeah, it's stock, stock standard transmissions that they built themselves that didn't put in kits. Yeah. Okay. And they just, yeah. you can buy a transmission instead of buying all the parts that <laughs> build one. But when yeah. I look at the lineup of Traxxas, um, their technology or their stuff has not changed no. a lot in many years. Yeah, they came out no. with the Rustler 4x4. Uh, this is new, but I think that was last year, which is. That's still... actually a two wheel drive right there. Yeah, and the low a center of gravity chassis. Yeah, the 118. Stampede no. 4x4 has not changed. It's still as no. ugly as before and really way up high. It's it's just ugly. That's why I, really, I put mine down lower. Um, they've got some new colors for bodies, it looks like. Oh, yeah, they have lots of colors. And they've got a lot of green because green is popular with a lot of people. Oh, yeah. They got a couple They got a couple builder's kits. Yeah. Which are almost as much as the Raider runs. <clears throat> Believe it or not, to my head, some ready-made transmissions with some of their cars kits. They've came out with a lot of kits this year, which is kind of good because people can can pick their own colors and do their own stuff. But the price is just ridiculous. But that's yeah. mm -hmm. oh, there you go. There's a new one. The Mustang, but it's probably on the Fortec. <laughs> it's a new it color. New colors. Um, oh, okay. New color. Oh, I just figured. You know, it said new. Yeah, new. Yeah. And that's why they put new, and then they, you click on it, but it's color. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, they even have the clear color. This is uh, Wonder Woman's truck. <laughs> <laughs> instead, of, instead of her jet, it's a... It's a That's a, good. A four pipe. Uh, at least people still know what, what Wonder Woman drove, which is kind of cool. Um, T-Max Classic, they still have that, but out of stock. Yeah. Uh, this is a funky new color. Look at this. All lightning and all that. This is, this is Trax is at his best. I see them taking that right there. Off of Adam LZ. Oh, yeah. His S15 for Formula D is what he's calling Year of Fire, and it's orange and yellow base with blue, orange, yellow graphics on it. Hmm. That It looks cool, but I see him taking that from that. There, Haas the, has a new color here. That oh, looks Haas. like the Phoenix Suns colors. Yeah. <laughs> now, this is interesting. I never thought when I put up my video of my summit, the three summits in the river, I never thought I would get so many hits on that video. But since last night, it's going crazy. People are just loving it for some odd reason. It's been a long time since people have seen it. Maybe some people have never seen it. Yeah, Very but it's, it, it, it's, it's, it's kind of cool. But the summit is so much fun. It's, it's so overrated or underrated. Uh, and pass by people usually don't don't look at it as a fun truck but it is so fun and so capable truck it's kind of cool. oh yeah like i, I see said people I, crawl with like, them <laughs> like my comment to yours said yeah. your video made me miss mine until yeah. i start thinking about loading it into my vehicle because <laughs> it gets heavy and it hurts <laughs> yeah it gets heavy and it's it's it gets very dirty fast also and and it's yeah it's it's really cool, but when I look at the lineup of all the trucks here, they, yeah, they did come up with a lot of TRX4 and a lot of different versions of them and builders kit and uh, the tracks was cool last year. Um, the six by six, six by six was last year, but that's kind of new. Um, this X01 hasn't really changed, and other than the TSM now, no, nope. uh, they've came out with kind of new boats i don't think they were they're new but they did change the colors on some new boats on the actually, new I, think there was on real, them. I think there is a brand new boat that's really big that came out last year too TSM on the boats. cool glass no those are all the same they were okay. the same boats but with tsm oh. on a boat how does that work i don't know i really don't know weird but they are coming up with, uh, this is a new little guy, but it's a Latrax. It's the same body as the old one. Mm -hmm. um, the 116th Rally, are they coming back out with them? Looks like it, because it was out of stock for so long. Oh, it was it was gone. Yeah. They stopped, they stopped making it for a while. Yeah, but early December, looks like they're coming back out with some. Yeah. Nope. Looks like they're coming out with the Titan, too. Oh, wait a minute. They're one, yeah, they are 118th. Yeah. 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 Yeah, a new Teton. 
Yeah. Why do you call him a Titan? It's not a Titan. It's not an eye. Titan. 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 It's a breast. In in French, this is called a breast. <laughs> it is. This is a woman's taton. It's it's crazy the name they put. Like yeah, okay. well, the Teton yeah. means that like the Teton Mountains in Montana and stuff. Oh yeah, that's what. Yeah, there's yeah. a mountain actually called the Teton. It's an area called the Tetons. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't yep. know that. Hey Tony, so, remember he's got that in um, Canadian money, not U.S. Yeah. dollars. So so often I wanted to get rid of my summit, and every time I want to get rid of it, I take it out for a drive. And then and you say, don't want oh, to get I'm not getting rid of it. Yeah. It's it, it's 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 crazy, but it's just that fun of a truck. It's kind of cool. I, I think it's funny when I saw some of them crawling with crawlers. Was the, the big, they were just huge behind them, but they were crawling with them. <laughs> yeah, the, well, the the summit is kind of an odd shape. People say it's a one eighth, but it's not. It, it is a one tenth body on it because you can actually take that body and put it on the one tenth truck, and it actually fits perfectly. The difference of it is it does have big monster tires and the axles are very long. So it makes it for a wider truck and looks bigger, but the body is a one ten truck. So to me, they haven't come out with a lot of room, uh, new stuff, but they're staying alive. They're, they're in there, but compared to Arma and the stuff that Arma has been coming out, it, it's, Mind you, they haven't, they've came out with a new truck this year with the new car, which is cool, the, the Basher. But they are coming with a lot of upgrades on their car, like version zero to like, they're what, up to four now or six? Yeah, I think a V4, I think a V5 might be coming out for one of them too. Yeah, summer five already. Yeah, so version five, but they've done a lot of changes on them, but Traxxas has not. So yes. is it because... Trax has made good stuff off the start and now the other guys are catching up or it's just they're just making it better. I think they're content to a point with what they started or what they have as a base and they're just expanding and refining that. Okay. To me, the, some of this behavior from them to me seems a bit uh, arrogant. I think they don't think they could ever lose any market share, but I think they're going to be wrong one day. Um. I don't know about arrogant. I think it might be complacent. Yeah. Well, just yeah. like Tony is saying, the bandit is such a dated looking buddy body. Sean just came yeah. in. Hey, Sean. Uh, hey, everybody. Hello, Sean. They have not changed the bandit in any way, shape, or form. They still have the old tires, which really are no good. Um, and they they haven't changed much. Like here, and like they're saying the Haas is hitting the stands in November 17th. So they just came out with this. And basically, if it's a, just a new body on the Haas. Yeah. New colors, a new video. Yep. Yeah, now, have them coming with parts like this, different colors, that's cool. That's new yeah. from them. Yeah. It looks like a, the orange one looks a lot like the RPM. Yes. It does. Yeah. Then they came out with their own tire, I think. They've come out that with a few like new, a new things, yeah. That's looked like a new paddle tire, yeah. Yeah. They're coming out with clothes. They've <laughs> always come out with clothes. New electronics. I think some of them have new electronics put on them. <laughs> yeah, that's true. They did come out with the newer, uh, newer cans and new electronics. ESC is a little bit better than before. Yeah. Well, they they had they had to do something with the ESCs because there's so many of them burning were out, blowing up and burning out, and yeah. yeah. Kagan, you're correct. They do have the two different blazer bodies for the TRX4. Yeah, they have the the black one and then the, the red one or something. Yeah, the 69, 69. and 74, 72. Yeah. Then mm -hmm. they have two different Broncos with two different colors too. I know, but they, they didn't need to start bringing out new trucks. Not the same old truck with new bodies. They, they have, have the same, brand new chassis. Yeah, they have the same body for the Broncos, but they do have two different colors like they do for the one RTR version of the Blazer as well. I'm surprised, Brad, you didn't watch Tony's video today. What? I'm surprised you didn't watch Tony's video today. Uh, did he have something on Tamaya today? No. He did. He had the cloud busters running today. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, actually, I watched that last night. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say that was last night. So well, I'll last go a day without day, like yeah. But I'm surprised Brad wasn't all over it. No. Yeah, Wait. but he broke it again. No. Yeah, so, sometimes sometimes I I'm off for a day, so I don't know if I saw it when I went through stuff today. Yeah, you slip, you're slipping up, Brad. I thought you were the Tamiya King. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a lot of people who have Tamiyas I don't watch. I don't know uh, that much. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Retro there is there. Like truck. Yep. The Maya custom. The Podbuster. That was a great video. It was. It was cool to see the demo ones go like that. Like, oh darn! Got an ad. <laughs> Here, let me switch to to this first. Oh, what's <laughs> that? Uh, there's a Podbuster. Did he? What motors did he, he put say, in Brad, it? He said, he said, twenty. Tony just said in the chat, twenty hours and still no love. <laughs> I think I was one of the first five or six to watch the thing last night because I was up when you posted it. Give him a thumbs up. What motors did he have in both these trucks? I think they're I think they're stock. Oh, look at the that's Aries. a really cool shot right there. Yeah. That's a good shot right there. Yeah, look at the air he's getting. It's almost as high as the um, as the low C. Look at that. Yeah, it's nearly as high as that house in the background. Yeah. <laughs> crazy but for you guys are wondering yes i do have two trucks missing that's because it's actually at 110 hobbies right now well, for the christmas uh, show yeah for the christmas parade but they're doing a reverse christmas parade so the parade is actually going to be sitting in one location and people are going to be driving back by with their cars oh uh uh-huh so Boring. yeah so now I decorated all my truck, put Kirsten's decoration. It's all glued on with two-way tape, uh, like you see one here on the headlight. You mean like uh, alien tape? Hey, There's alien tape, which is they don't consider exactly tape, but you can reuse it. You can clean it off and okay. it sticks again. Now this one is Gorilla Tape, the clear Gorilla Tape, uh, which is very sticky. So I use this on the side here, all the side on the... So basically, I put like a Santa Claus uh, tobogganing on the window and uh, a nutcracker here, a big tree, and then I put lights. And uh, that's not the lights. That's Michael's. Hey, I, I we have Michael's. <laughs> so that's going to be my uh, my thing over there. And I put a, a head, a, um, bunny, uh, not bunny, but um, to it cover your ears. With Do the they room. actually have bells on it? Do you have bells on it that are ringing? Uh, yes, in front, there are bells yeah. in front. So there's my nutcracker, a tree. So uh, this is going to be on the table. And too bad I can't drive it because I could have dro driven it. Um, and it would have been cool to drive it. But I, I put that there because it's 110 Hobby. It's 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 the hobby store. So uh, that's why it's not here on my shelf. It's over there and it's ready oh. for the parade. That's yeah, Tony, be on Tony, said it look, Tony said it looks great. He also said 27 turn motors, Brad. Yeah, the stock okay. ones. Okay, yeah. ones. Dad, are you gonna are you gonna advance your know, tank that sleeper? Are you gonna make that sleeper higher? Yes, I do have to uh, get a hold of my buddy um, that does uh, great cars here, and he actually yes. put some some up today. And uh, like I was there, uh, for, uh, uh, Sean. Uh, Sean. Yeah. Uh, his name is Sean, and um, he does great work over here, and he does all his custom bodies. So. I, I want to bring in that trailer and, and, and make the cab a little longer at the back. Let's bring up that picture. Yeah, he's the guy that done the, the Jeep all covered in blood, is not it? They what? He, he's the guy, Sean. He's the one that done the Jeep all covered in blood and everything, is not it? Uh, no, that's somebody different. That's a different Sean. Yeah. Hey, JP Slayer just made a good point in the chat. What is it? Out of all the RC companies out there, Traxxas is the most talked about, no matter good or bad. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That is true. Yeah. So basically what I want to do here is bring this cab here a little bit farther back, like up to the, so a little bit bigger here at the back, but much taller. And then it's, it's going to come down. Yeah. They have a goose neck there. Yeah. And then a... Cool. So I want this to be a little taller. So I'm going to take my wrestler guy, giving him at a scale, 
and I want this to be just a little mm-hmm. taller because this is too short. It, it needs either this angle needs to go up a little bit more. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But there, there's always a gap here, and, and I want this gap gone now, so I want this trailer to be a little longer at the back. And I even thought maybe I should close it all off, like, and then just drive in this trailer. That's another option to actually do. But then it won't look as cool, maybe. Or, or you could have, like, straps hooked onto it, like bungee straps hooked to yeah. it so it sticks to the trailer. Yeah. Unless you do, like, the trailer. I was watching a video yesterday with a guy's trailer on the back of his Tamiya truck. Mm-hmm. Like it, it had, like, glass. So it, it looked like a glass trailer, but then the whole section that had glass, the suspension of the trailer lowered. Then the trailer opened up and disconnected from, like, the flatbed part. He, dr- he drove it out. And then the trailer closes back in and the, all the hydraulics are, so he leaves the load and the flatbed just sitting there. It's freaking crazy. If, like, if you can find that, send me a link to that on Facebook or something. Yeah. If that's uh, something Sean's going to try to build now. <laughs> uh, uh, there's no, no chance. I'm sure that trailer costs like insane money to make. <laughs> but you could make it. I know you could. You're good at doing those types of things. Not that <laughs> one. I don't think that one. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching, I believe it was RC every day. He's redoing his rat rod semi and making a um, ramp trailer for it. That guy has got some talent. A so, lot of people have a lot of talent that no one knows about in this hobby. So this morning I took uh, my uh, trailer out <clears throat> and I took another something else out. Evening, Gabe. Ah, uh, Winnie. Yeah. And the gatekeeper. <laughs> so I did a couple passes, like front, rear, and, and just did some bad. This video is off the Facebook, so the resolution is not that good. Yeah. But uh, it did pretty good. But I'm if I pull a trailer like this, I'm going to have to reinforce or put more leaves at the back. I was going to say, it's kind of squatting in the back. There. Yeah, yeah, it's squatting it, in the back. It is heavy. It is very heavy. Need uh, load leveler bags in there. That's the other thing yeah. I was thinking. Maybe I should <laughs> air get shocks. Uh, air shocks or leveler bags or or something <laughs> to that I can activate and unactivate like uh, on demand. So I got to look into that. What I could or a low rider the... setup where you can ha- lift it. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it hey, is. Jake. It is sitting back, so I I have to fix that. But that's kind of cool. Looks good. Yeah. Good evening, Sir Jake. Hello, hello. Good eye, good eye. And I took this picture, which turned That's out pretty good. That's a good shot. Uh, there's mini tank in the middle, mm-hmm. and there's my big rig, which I decorated for Christmas, and there's the other one. I didn't what want to leave in this one because I, I need the gatekeeper this weekend for the event I'm hosting. Mm. So. The gatekeeper's a little bit bigger than the rampage. <laughs> It's taller, yeah. It's I don't think it's bigger. It's the same scale. In the real world, that vehicle is a bit bigger than the oh, yeah. trucks are. Yeah. So that's right. Well, especially <laughs> the tires. Those tires are, are huge or humongous, the the rock racer tires. Yep. Um I was gonna say something and I can't think. Oh, did you see all the Pro Line releases today? Bodies? Oh, uh, the Camaro. They did the Camaro. They've got a 124 scale power wagon. They have a new paddle tire. Is it belted paddle tire or just no? I don't know. I didn't read on it. It's just a very odd looking design. Yeah, it is very odd looking. It doesn't look like a shovel. (laughs) Furball Kim has just put a thing on there in the chat that says, just some news to Tank RC. We lost Roxy couples days ago. I'm not sure who Roxy is. So you're going to have to come back to me or I'll go in your chat tomorrow morning and, and talk to you guys about that. But I'm not sure who that is, but it's always sad when you lose people. Yeah. And I've, hopefully it's yeah. not for the COVID. I know it's mm-hmm. been very bad in the States, but he actually lives in Canada. He lives about two and a half hours from me. Mm. So. My pastor and his wife lost their Roxy, which was a German shepherd. Okay. So. Yeah. Okay. Hey, look at that. Jake's here. Hello. Why didn't nobody tell me Jake was here? I said it. 
<laughs> yeah, but I never listen to you. I never listen to you, man. <laughs> Ouch. Just I know you don't listen to us. You got to pick on don't somebody. You, don't you feel the love, Brad? Yeah, right. Good. Right. She said her dog, Roxy. Oh, okay, okay, okay. From cancer. And that's the same thing my pastor's wife's did. I'm sorry for your loss of your fur baby. Yeah. I know how hard that is. Yeah, I remember seeing sucks. that dog a couple times on the videos. That's true. And you guys took her out and a couple times. Yeah, I remember that. Now that rings a bell. Sorry for your loss. We're actually looking for a dog. We're actually looking for a dog, but we're looking for a special dog. We need a, a hypoallergenic dog. Hypoallergenic? Hypoallergenic. Allergenic. Uh, yeah. Poodles. Yeah, poodles. Um, Labradoodle. Yeah, there's Something a bunch of Something here. Something that won't uh, shed like crazy. That's what's good for you. Man, because of COVID, no puppies are available. And the waiting list is like almost a year. Yeah, it's, it's just crazy. So we got our names on the um, uh, Humane Society and a couple different places that are taking care of dogs that are uh, that needs a home uh, that are uh, left uh, aside or whatever. So even if it's an older dog or whatever, so our name is on a couple lists, and we we just want to take care of a, 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 a dog, a little puppy or an older dog, but not too old because you do yeah. get attached to them, and the only thing you get is bills and bills if they're too old. <laughs> Mine unfortunately died in a fire. Oh yeah, seventeen years ago. Yeah. Mm. He was a miniature poodle, great dog, mm -hmm. quiet too. He wasn't a yapper. Mm. And it's it's cool talking about dogs, but it's 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 cool how many dogs run after RCs or run after the tires <laughs> of, of the trucks. Your dog, John, does that? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Mine run from them. The, the, there was some dogs the other day, and we were having fun. Uh, it was not with the sum. It was with another one. I think it was with the gatekeeper. And and I went to the dog thinking the dog was going to run after it, but no way. The dog just like was scared of it. Like really, uh, like no I, way I think, near me. I, I, I think it's funny when I see the dog that he can't catch the car because it's so fast. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually good. gaining ground from the dog. <laughs> what, what, what do you think when my dog's out, I break out the max? You break out the max? <laughs> You got if you got long enough uh, a, a place if you had a long enough if you went to a park the dog wouldn't be able to catch it. <laughs> so the only time my only time my dog catches the max is when I slow down the corner so it doesn't flip over. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then it's a challenge. <laughs> yeah, then then the tires are like torquing out of their mouths. <laughs> yeah, I had a I had a Latrax tent and at one point and uh yeah i don't have that i don't have that truck too much anymore um dog decided to actually pick that one up and carry it off into the woods uh, so nice. someone's gonna find it one day <laughs> no I, I i got it back but i'm just saying it has <laughs> got teeth marks in it and yeah. i got a package from tighter day Ooh, open it Open it. It's already been open. From Tiger Bay. Yeah, it's a guy that does um, Kyosho stuff, uh, 3D printed, and he's got a. Uh, he was on the channel a little while ago. I'll show you guys, but he does 3D printed stuff. So here's some sand ladders that he 3D printed. Oh, nice. There we go. I like those better than the ones I have. They made out nylon. Yeah. Uh, he's also got these. So his website are, um, I'll show you the business card real quick. Might as well present myself. Let's do a shout out. Yay. <laughs> Spotlight for everybody. So come on camera focus. That looks like that would go well on a trans oh, am. <laughs> that emblem instead of the, the chicken. Come on, be camera. Owl. Focus. That's an owl. That's a cool looking owl. Yeah, oh, it has the wings like the fiery chicken from the go. Firebird. <laughs> That's nice. 
Predator parts. So check them out on eBay. Uh, yes, today. Okay, cool. he, he, he's from Canada? No, oh, he's the U.S. Oh, yeah. that must have cost a fortune to get to you. So That's not too bad. TSO stuff Day. like that. TSO Day is his YouTube channel. Yeah, I, ha- I think I'm sub to him. I know. I- I've heard of him. So he's given me these guys, Brad. These are Kyosho tires. For a Mini Z? Oh. Yep. Hey, I just realized I got the option to uh, give me eyebrows still on. I don't know if you guys can see the eyebrows are moving. Yeah, I noticed yeah, yeah, that the other day too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So my eyebrows are changing color. I got to yeah. turn that off. So anyways... These are rubber tires, but they're actually meant for the mini Z's. So he gave me black ones, uh, orange ones for me to test out. So I got two sets of orange. Nice. For the mini Z's. And uh, this is the low pro. So low pro you can tell that they're much thicker. These are thicker. Yeah, I could tell, I could tell one's thinner, one's thicker. Yeah, and these are low profile. So uh-huh. this should be really cool. Like, there's a couple guys here that are really into mini Z's. Uh, I'm thinking of going there to um, uh, checking them out. And uh, maybe some really good race track. I've seen some really cool race tracks for those. He also has Gen 8 spring retainers because on the Gen 8, you actually lose these once in a while. So he has them available because you can't you can't just buy the retainers. You got to buy the whole shock kit. Oh, yeah, that sucks. That's yeah, on, a, that's a terrible. On that eBay, paid twice as much. Yeah, on eBay, he has the retainer kit, and the way he does his, he says it doesn't fall off. I so, got a good way to make sure they don't fall off too. Yeah. Super Which one you glue? You glue them. <laughs> have a shoe goo right in the crack there. Yeah. So when you need yeah. to pull it off, you pull it out, and it stays in place. I've been doing that for years. And he also sent this, which is a. Uh, I'll say awesome about that one. So this is the Gen 8 front skid plate. So I got to look into this more, but this is the 3D printed nylon, but it's a front skid plate for the Gen 8. Cool. So yeah, I got to put that onto the truck and, and. How much does it cost to get the nylon from the 3D printers? I don't know. I don't have one. Not someone would know. But oh, does anybody here know? No idea. Oh, so batteries, batteries are done. Mine. <laughs> my new, my new 3S battery for my uh, my uh, rock racer. Cool. I need to find someone here local that can do some decent 3D printed parts. Okay. I want to get a um, little headache rack, if you will, or a rack for the back of the semi, so I can. Hang chains up yeah. off of it. Tell me, re- reach out the reach out the friggin RC Voodoo. Oh, Daniel, that's right. Yeah, reach out to Daniel. His because he does my he done like the engine and that Range Rover for yeah. me. Yeah, that's nylon, isn't it? It came out freaking great. He done the three D and print interior for the Bronco all too. Like so. Okay, I'd reach out to to Daniel. I'll shoot him a message. Oh, this is weird. And if there's a particular one that you like, you see online, just send them what it is, and then he'll download the CAD file and print it. Yeah, and then he's in the U.S., so it's going to be good for you guys. Yeah. yeah. So I did TSO Day to to find the his website, his YouTube channel, and mm-hmm. there's this guy. I'm going, what do you mean? I am subscribed to him, but it's a different TSO Day. Yeah, okay, different TSO Day, yeah, because that's TSO Day right there. He got some cool stuff. He does good crawl and stuff. Are those too. the little 16-scale Losies? I'm not sure what scale these are. I don't know. Those that doesn't even look like a low C. It, it might like be a even small associated 128 scale or something like that. I haven't seen any of those in forever. Actually, the bike <laughs> shop my son works at actually sells those. <laughs> so if you need any uh gen eight part and things like that, he's got a link here. This is a link to uh this video. Um, which basically gives you a link that's on the bottom here. Show more. That remote looks like a spectrum. <laughs> Axio, that's funny. 
You've probably got the link into the description then because it's not in the description. You must have it in the chat somewhere. Yeah. Where is the link? He says link below, but I see no link. I've got to give him shit. <laughs> Check out my RC Park store link below. But here we go. We're checking below. Fail. Huh. Music in this video. Learn more. Yeah. Hmm. That's a fail. <laughs> That's a fail. <laughs> Okay, but you can go there and actually message him. But no, he's got um, his uh, predator part. So check just on eBay. Uh oh, looks like trouble's trying to show up. Who's that? Oh, don't Tony worry about him. Coming in. <laughs> uh, he's just going to talk about monster truck again, and we've 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 heard monster truck all week. So it's just like... <laughs> talk about Tony. There's a lot of Traxxas chatter in the chat. Yeah, I see that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is good. Yeah, and Axio brought up um, Vatera. Mm -hmm. I love how he put it. Vatera was put on a Viking ship and pushed into the ocean. Flaming arrow yeah. got in that and lit that ship on fire. <laughs> well, yeah. th that's what happens when all the company got bought out. Like They have to do the juggling game. They had way too many companies that were competing against each other. So it's yeah. better to amalgamate them together mm -hmm. and, and come out with one good product instead. It, it, sounds, it sounds like uh, how uh, GM dropped a lot of their products. And well, that, that, that's Mercury what... And Plymouth, and Plymouth was dropped and all that type of stuff. Well, it looks like that's what's happening already with Horizon and Proline. Yeah. Like, look how quick they had the new tires for that low seat monster truck. Like, the yeah. same day, they actually released tires same. from. Yeah. See, I, I think what's going on with Trax is it's planned. Yeah, I think so. I think it's planned. Right, right, after, Tony? right after Black Friday or something, they're going to hit something hard. What they're going to drop something, definitely. Yeah, totally. Who's going to drop something? I, I'm trying to find it as we speak, but somebody dropped in a forum a TRX TRX 24. Oh, <laughs> so, so they're making a mini. They're making a mini. Uh, I, I can't drive. find it again. I'm trying to find I it. I want again. a Bigfoot 24. A proper, uh, proper uh, Bigfoot 24. Four wheel drive and four wheel steering. <laughs> yeah. Actually, that's a question. What RC company has a pro racing team, like a one to one pro racing team? Traxxas. 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 Yes, yes, they do. Why stay, do they do, do uh, stadium so stuff. Yeah. They, I've seen. I've seen when I've watched some of those uh, at the end of one of those uh, stadium races. They have the truck on top of the truck that it's based on from yeah. Traxxas, and it says Traxxas on the side of the truck. Yeah, tra the Traxxas short course trucks, man. Some yeah. of them, some of them races are freaking insane. They're wild, especially the they one on the concrete. Yeah. They do the same thing with buggies too. They do the same thing with buggies. They do the same thing with buggies. They could have done that with the, the two wheel drive class and take the bandits to make them look like that. Mm. Well, they have a full scale X Max too. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Is it a full? So, so uh, is it in uh, Monster Jam yet? Yeah, it's in Monster Jam. Yeah. No, yeah. it's in the Bigfoot League. Oh, that's right. Yes. It has live axles, right? It's not um, independent like the car. So what's the difference between the Bigfoot League and Monster Jam League? What's what's the difference between the, the trucks? Bigfoot wouldn't sell their truck to, to Feld. They yeah. wouldn't sell the license rights to it, but they run their own league. Uh, so Monster Jam well, is a different league of the Bigfoot trucks? Nope, they're not Bigfoot trucks. Bigfoot would not sell their licensing to Feld. I mean, it is monster trucks. It yeah, they're all monster, monster trucks. trucks. Yeah, and there, and of course, there's lawsuits and all that with Hot Wheels and I was because say, Hot Wheels is the one doing the shows, or they were doing them for a while. But Bigfoot will can run in anything they want to because they own the, their license and their brand. If they want to go and do, um, you know, a show at a little park, they can. If they want to get on with the Hot Wheels, they can. But yeah, okay. So but they have their own little association or their own group that run together and make their own shows. 
and then you have the other guys that makes um, the monster jam. So in other yeah, words, you'll never see a Bigfoot in a monster jam. Nope. You know, the, only I, time, I, the only time the only time you'll see like uh, a monster jam truck in maybe one of these other trucks would be at a non non points thing at some like state fairground or something or other. They're, they're usually yep. privately owned, like a V two yeah. vids truck. Yep. And so V2 Vids, what's funny is privately owned trucks like V2 Vids uh, and them can be in Monster Jam, but they won't ever bring Bigfoot in. Yeah. Which is interesting. But um, yeah, there's some blood there. <laughs> I was going to say that, well, they had, they had that, that basically a pissing match, what, a good 10 here's, years ago, if not longer? Here, here, here's what they should do. You know how there's an American League and a National League? They should do the same thing with them, and that, that, that might uh, calm things down. No, no, it's yeah. it's 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 called IndyCar and IRL. Yeah. Yeah. It's called money. So so this, the, is this why is this why Traxxas bought the Bigfoot rights instead of doing the other monster truck that they had before? Because before they did have the Monster Jam truck, the one with the spikes and the other one there. They also yeah, they had, had a, a grave digger too, didn't they? I they, had they, had a grave, a they had a grave digger and a axe date. Max, Max, D, D, Max yeah. D, that's it. And I think they tried to take them to court too and realize that, oh, these guys are bigger than us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bad idea. Okay. Yeah. So but that's no, why so yeah, they went they went independent. So that's why they kept this truck the same platform, but they just put different bodies on it. Yeah. Yep. Because they yep. could just pay Grave Digger whatever they request for licensing. Um yeah. How old is the Fortec uh, 2.0 chassis? Because I thought that was recent too. Uh, two, couple three years. years. Yeah. yeah, couple years. It's not that it's new anymore. It's decent though. It's, a, yeah. it's not a bad chassis. No, don't work for drifting for anything though, unless you're power sliding out in the road. Yeah, that's say for the old Bigfoot. That's a nice body on that. Yeah, but the only thing this Bigfoot truck is not. That's a Chevy. It, it's not a solid axle. No. Yeah. I keep saying I wish they would make it one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They've got the brand. It's it's the second biggest name or possibly the biggest monster truck name out there. And if they did solid I mean, we're already taking and putting on solid axle trucks. Yeah. I mean they could they the could worst, technically take a TRX four and do that with it. The worst the worst part is all these uh these big foot are all two wheel drive. They're not even four wheel. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's my biggest gripe with it. You know, they don't even put it on the four wheel drive stampede, which is crazy. Yeah. Or on the Hawks or any of those, right? Nope. Doesn't make sense. They're just trying to do it cheap, man, so that people buy it. They know that that they have a better chance of getting somebody that's a Bigfoot fan that's not an RC enthusiast yeah. to buy in at a low price. So I think that's why. Because the only solid axle truck that they have is the TRX4. And the TRX six, yeah, but it's the same axle, same thing. Well, no, the UDR has a rear. Yeah, that's true. Oh yeah, that's UDR right. Has yeah. A... Where is the UDR here? I don't think I. Saw Which it. is something we've been saying is, hey, why don't you take that and make a yeah a truck the, out of it? Yeah, but the UDR doesn't have a front axle that actually can actually turn. It's got independent. Yeah. yeah, they just have to make a front axle end and yeah. for it. Yeah, they don't even have it listed. They're it's close. Right it's right there. The blue one. They're close to having oh, one. Yeah. Yep. They could take that and do it if they wanted. That's right. They renamed it. <coughs> That's right. They, they renamed, renamed it? it. Desert Racer, Ultimate Desert Racer. The Unlimited uh, is low, the low center of gravity chassis, uh, isn't it? No. No, I thought the. I thought, oh. It doesn't have it. It's, it's got a flat bottom are. chassis, but it's not a low center. Yeah. So the initial of UDR means ultimate desert racer. Yep. They also yeah, have all yeah. those drag race guys buying up slashes. It is very sexy truck, like having the lights and the way it, it's actually built. It, it's really nice truck. Yeah. Yeah. But the problem is, where do you drive it? Like, to me, drive it in the snow. <laughs> like that. Pedal tires and have fun. <laughs> like that. Yeah. You can drive it anywhere. That's what's nice about it. You just need a lawn. Yeah, it's fun watching the suspension move over little bumps. Yeah. 
Getting your Losi done there, Tony? Yeah. Wait, that's not a monster truck. Yeah. That's yeah, a buggy. Tony, what's up with you? Is that, your, is that your low C buggy or associated so, buggy? Yeah. No, so this guy not right here. So there it's you go. I went and I put the ends on here and then I did everything and I had it built for me. And uh, when I went to plug it in, it wasn't working right. And I looked and there was like weird um, something around the battery terminals. I, I looked and uh, he started with the negative as being A. Then A went to B, then B went to C on the motor, and then C he was using as the negative for the battery. Wow. Oops. So uh, I was like, oh my gosh. And I quickly, but it already cut it for the battery because it was sitting there with the battery leads. Everything else was soldered up onto the motor. So I took the two leads and cut them for the battery. But when I cut it short, I had to then solder, <laughs> solder it back together. Mm. Kind of sucks, Oops. but. So, and you have downforce spoiler up front. Yep. Evening, John, at Cruiser RC. So Bob you've seen in. it here. You've seen it here on the Tank RC. Uh, Tony from CCXRC does not do just monster truck. <laughs> That's not Tony. Tell that yeah. man. <laughs> That's I think, that buggy I think down. he's got a fever. It's a he's buggy not feeling down. well. Yeah. <laughs> buggy down, pick up a monster truck now. I have a semi truck right here. Hey, he had a no. buggy. He gave it to me. <laughs> he gave me one of his buggies. <laughs> They're just not as much fun. That's all. He did that I mean, to make room for another monster truck, Brad. Yeah, well, what, you know what? <laughs> I'm surprised you don't have a monster tr a monster buggy, you know, with big tires on it. <laughs> I do. It's called a Typhon Success. Typhon. <laughs> not what I was not what I was, I was talking about, like uh, just like talking about. Uh, Monster truck tires, the, the Chevron tread type on a buggy. When's the next? Last time, when's the last time you took your uh, uh, Typhon off? About two weeks ago. Oh, yeah? Big bash with it. Uh, I have video of it. I just haven't edited it yet. Is it a six S or a three? Six. I was just running on four though. Our RC Basher Boy says my UDR is unique. Driv, uh, driven by Axiomatic RC, a.k.a. the Technomatic guy. <laughs> cool. right. I think no, you made Axiomatic's day because Axiomatic says, darn right, uh, RC back boy. That was a special edition. <laughs> and uh, Axiomatic says, uh, Tony, you look confused holding that buggy. <laughs> yeah. It's what quick, though. I like it. It's quick. I think you're going to race it, right? <clears throat> oh, no. Oh. I will take it to the racetrack, and I will jump it, and I will run the laps, but I will not race it. So I, I think I'm going to no. take a snapshot tomorrow of Tony holding up his car like that when I'm premier, uh, showing him off, and I'm going to put it on his uh, conspiracy page and say, is Tony getting out of the <laughs> truck? <laughs> that would be good. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Fake you news. Totally do that. Fake news. Fake news. All of my one point five wrenches are gone. What the heck? That, that's what somebody was telling me last week. Is is you'd think the two millimeter is your most important tool, but it's actually the one point five. And they're yeah. little. And that's what they use in all like bead locks, and so you're yeah. sitting there screwing them forever. That's the one I want to have a power tool for. And your dry shafts. Yeah. Hmm. Well, those I don't mind doing by hand. Speaking of, I've got to um, do some repairs to monster trucks. How I many? Broke... You got too many of them. You got to be repairing a lot of them. <laughs> well, I just broke the LMT rear axle on the other one. Oh, you broke the low C already? Two of them broken. How the heck did you do that? <laughs> I thought those were pretty beefy axles. They're really beefy the axles. I was going to say, did you not watch Tony's video, Brad? Those things are so, like Tonka trucks. What it's happened it's was heated. when I took it apart the other day, because I needed to do something, what did I have to do to it? Did you have to put a pin in one of them? Oh, yeah. yeah. So I took some apart to do the pin or whatever, and I was looking at it, and he'd actually cracked the rear axle. Oh, man. I mean, he was he was the worst at really abusing it, so it doesn't <laughs> surprise me. 
<laughs> that it was cracked because I remember that was like straight away. I'm like, dude, you broke it like first jump. Yeah. Hmm. And um, I need to see if that was the same side. I think it was, but uh, there was it a crack going. there in it. Yeah, it had pulled out from underneath on these right here. It had cracked. It was starting up, but there's also like a weird, like little moon shaped crack on the back of it. They're so getting mm -hmm. a lot of hairline fractures. Yeah. So, um, it was a brutal hit. So they I took it out. I glued hits. it up. I glued it up and I took it out today. And I said, I don't know if it's going to last, but I took one really hard tumble off of a big jump in it. You were hard. On, you were, you were hard on my on the fourteen uh, four zero zero one you gave me. There you go, Brent. It took me a long time there, but I find I just sent you that video. Okay, that's what I've been there all that time searching for that video. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you got so quiet. I never said you had to do it right then and there. I don't know, but if I did, I might... forgot all. If I didn't, I forget all about. It. it took me that long to find it even again. So, so, so oh, you you got you. my email address. It sounds like Sean recently. What's that? You gave it. You got sent it to my email. I would assume. I sent no, uh, Brett. I said not Brett. Brad. You sent oh, Brett. And you, uh, sorry. AC <laughs> Froggies. I um just sent Brett you uh, your stickers as well as uh, Jim. I sent his cool. too. Finally. Cool. Yep. I got Frank's the Months other day. later. Yeah. Got my stickers. Where'd you put them? I've got one on my sticker board cool the others i'm trying to figure where to run them there's food, food who's in the chat there and i froggies you should talk to them about that thing for the tamia what's that i say voodoo is in the chat there and i he he's the guy he'd be able to do that 3d printed thing for you okay yeah i'll get with him in a minute here yeah, yeah rc voodoo does pretty good printing what is it you wanted to get printed again a headache rack type deal for the back of the semi so I can put chains on it. Oh, yeah. A headache rack. That's the rack right behind I mean, the sleeper pad. The yeah. sleeper. Yeah, just, it doesn't have to be real big. I just want something in this area I can bolt to the frame just so I can take the chain and have it hanging across. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For, some, for some reason, I thought you maybe were wanting chains for your tires. They're running through no. snow. <clears throat> no. I see that on this on ice. Yeah, but I'm in Arizona. I don't I need know. no thinking snow chains. I say, does Brett well, even well, know I what guess, snow I guess, is? I guess, I, yes, I, I do. I, Dude, you guys are in a heat wave right now, aren't you? Yeah, it's been in the 80s. It's going to start cooling off next week. Oh, yeah. Jake, I, mean, I was I born in Connecticut. No, oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> and so I, I could see uh, – uh, I thought I've seen chains used for going through sand for some applications. David, no. David welcome in. G Greens, welcome in. Look what I started. Yeah. Did you know that song is actually? Did you know that song is actually named after the guy? His surname is Phenomena. Yeah. yeah. The next thing you know, you'll be talking about the the Swedish chef. <laughs> I'm trying to find Paul's channel. I believe it's Paul, the guy that does the puppet thing for him, because I told him I, I want to bring in a video. And, and every time I see Nama Nama Na in, in the chat, I want to play that video for him because the guy always brings out his puppets for him and, and plays and sings a Nama Na song. So that'd be cool. But I can't remember. What this someone, name is. someone should get uh, uh, Brett a uh, Kermit the Frog so he can put it on one of his cars. Hey, hello, Kermit the Frog here. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I got frogs I can put everywhere. No, I'm not, I, I, but like Kermit the Frog or, know. you know. I know, I'm just saying. I've got one up there, actually two up there. I've got three different ones right here. Um, <laughs> I've got you others actually, in the other room. Did you used to have pet frogs? Because it seems like you love frogs. Yes, I've had African dwarf frogs. You had those really big ones that'll eat anything, pretty much. No, anything that's not about smaller, anything smaller than them. No, it doesn't seem like the politically correct name for those frogs, honestly. What? Dwarf frogs? Yeah. Well, they are. They're tiny. Yeah. Uh, uh, 
what about the ones that just eat everything? They're like big monster no. frogs. <laughs> no, I've never had anything like that. <laughs> That's bigger than a bullfrog. Yeah. Uh, let, 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 let's see if we can get in trouble. <laughs> oh, I'm sure we can get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> what are they with those particular Muppets? That's it. <laughs> those, are the, those are pink cows. I, I don't want to do any more just in case they, they flag me because you're allowed a couple seconds, but I don't know how many seconds. Three hours later. How about that many? <laughs> yeah. The what? Everybody uses the SpongeBob. Three uh -huh. hours later. Many, uh -huh. many minutes later. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. That's it. Paul Murray. That's it. I'd still get in trouble if I used his. And this truck is beat already. Holy crap. I lost count how many times I said ouch in that video. Mm -hmm. and I, I Wait, literally went like afterward me. and I bought another one. I'm like, well, these ones are destroyed. <laughs> there go the nice ones I have. How are they still moving? Dude, I, my bashers would have not. I'd have broken A arms, I'd have steering blocks whatever knuckles they would not have been still going i took my freestyle rc out there and i i only went for three and a half minutes before i couldn't drive anymore <laughs> yeah. oh crap i'm not looking forward to this now looking forward to what i gotta change escs in my buggy well uh, this Oh, the one I'm running isn't quite legal, so. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are you cheating, uh, Brett? Huh? Are you cheating? Not intentionally. <laughs> it used to be on the list, and then they changed the list on me. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ten years ago. Likely story. <laughs> yeah. When did you change that? <laughs> yeah. No, actually, they did just change... Um, last month, I didn't know it. Oh yeah, yeah. No baby. Did they call you out? No, I just noticed the updated list, and I was like, "Oh, okay." No baby. Better than getting called out. Yeah. yeah. No, so I've got another one that's on the list. So just an easy swap out. Just I don't want to move everything to get over my soldering equipment. <laughs> I had fun soldering last night for an hour. <laughs> well, I'm getting everything set up with a separate cart for just my LED stuff. I've got a cart just for the airbrush set up. I've got my charging station being revamped and actually going to have it where I can lock up the door on it. All right. So... Yeah, I'm trying to do a bunch of stuff around here to make some room and clear it out. And I've seen some cracking on this one too. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ordered some new ones. Oh, yeah. I'm not playing to bash it like that anymore. <laughs> what, type, uh -uh. what type of axles are those? Uh, LMT axles. They're specific to this truck. Okay. They're forty bucks for a casing. For the rear, or 50, 49.99, and then there. Well, you guys were really sending those trucks. Like, like you were not holding back, so which is oh. good. Yeah. yeah. Well, and the cracks on this are, they don't seem structural. Okay. Potentially, but it will cause for flex where I'm seeing it. Yeah. We'll see. There are braces coming I plan to get for it by Freestyle RC Good that idea. are going to put a, a, a carbon fiber piece that goes forward and backward off of here is stiffeners. I'll show you the cracking, though. Those are big axles. Later, Daniel. I'll send you an email later. And they're both in the same spot. Later, Voodoo. Later, Voodoo. Thanks for dropping by. So I can probably general replace. General Hobbies says, uh, did you hear about that new low C LMT axiomatics? 
Yeah. Oh, wow. Cool. See right here? Yep. Oh, yeah. I see it on both sides. And then this piece. Wow. Yep. And then down here. Yep. And actually, here. when I was watching you run the thing, and when you were showing the unboxing, I was thinking that would be probably the weakest section of it. Just yeah, because there is there is a little bit of... Yeah, it flexes. Yeah. But it's only the housing that broke, though, is it? Nothing inside. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So the axles inside it are beefcakes, so they're big. Yeah. Um, so that's where that stiffener is going to screw into the bottom here. Yeah. And it's going to go both ways to stiffen it from flexing forward backward. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'd say but it, it still took it, an incredible beating. Oh, yeah. I'd say it probably flexes so much because right behind that area on the other side of where it cracked is a bearing set up that holds the dip in place. Yeah. Did you so, send Losi pictures? You should send Losi pictures of where the weak points are. Maybe they're going to come yeah. out with something. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I sent them last on the other one. Okay. It's not really it weak. Cracked, it cracked from here and then following this, but it went kind of okay. up through here. It was different, a different yeah. point. But yeah. that one was because they were landing one wheel yeah. so hard. That's what I mean. It's not it's not really weak considering the abuse no. going through, like you know. So So the difference is A arms are cheap to replace, right? Yep. Yeah. These housings are not as cheap to replace. So you don't want to be doing this. That's why you don't want to big air it. Yeah. Because this is a fifty dollar piece instead of a twelve dollar piece. Yeah. Now I wonder if anybody's gonna make metal ones for that. I hope so. Don't you well. think it'd cause don't you think it'd be too much weight and reduce the performance? They're kind of overperforming <laughs> in yeah. some ways. An aluminum piece, an aluminum piece would be pretty good for that. And it, I don't think it's going to be heavier than the plastic because the plastic is pretty heavy. Huh? It's a pretty heavy. So it's got a massive diff in here. That's the other yeah. thing. We were landing yeah. on throttle. It's an eight scale diff. Um, and so I was talking with the product developer. Oh, shoot. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I broke into pieces. Yeah, I ran <laughs> iPad down here. Um, Oof. And the axles to build them out completely cost about 130 for one and 150 for the other. So they're almost $300 for axles and you can get a roller for 400 bucks. So think about the deal that you get when you get that roller versus yeah, buying things in pieces. Cause the diffs alone are 50, right? They're like $50. Wow. Housings are 50. Then you got to get the axle tubes, which are 12, or the axles inside the the, um, the dog bones. Um, then you got to get the ends for the, the wheel. Um, but then you buy wheels, anything else, the yeah. center diff. Um, yeah. So recommendation for somebody that wants – recommendation for somebody that wants to buy a low-C LMNT truck is to buy a full ready to run and buy <coughs> a roller for spare parts. Yes, basically. Or or there's people that want the axles to put under their SMT 10s because they like the SMT 10 for whatever reason. Okay. Um, it'd be cheaper to buy a roller and then part it out because these links alone, man, these links would probably set you back. Anybody else? 60 bucks for links. And these are twice the size of the rest of them yeah. we, we normally use. Then mm -hmm. shocks. How much do shocks cost? Mm -hmm. 60 bucks probably for four uh, probably 60 bucks for a pair from low seat you know drive shafts that you get they're you know beefy drive shafts you get here it, it reminds me of an old saying uh four and aluminum get... chassis i mean it's tough to beat that price mm -hmm. it kind of reminds you of uh what henry ford says we could give them away for free charge them a lot to fix them because by parts it would be more expensive than the car was given to you well, here's one of the axles right here sticking through. I can get a, I can get a wrench on that. Wow. Or I can tell you how big it is. Um, I'll get a caliper on it. Looks to be about four, four and a half or something like that. Yeah, I'd say four to five. It's a big axle. But she said, "Put up." Do 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 do. Well, maybe your axle is a. I can, see Sean, I can see Sean buying those axles and putting them on one of his crawlers and locking them up. No, Brad, that would just be silly. <laughs> oh, 
five, five. Four. Yeah. Nice. So wh- when does when did this stream become a low C? Talk about low C. I came in talk here. About, talk about tracks. Yeah. We talked about Bigfoot. You guys started it. So uh, okay, Tony I'll put his that. buggy down. To- That's Tony's, what the, Tony's the monster truck guru, man. Yeah, but like we're <laughs> it's the wrong to work on the Traxxas truck. I got my Traxxas ones over here. <laughs> he probably still has his Max. <laughs> I know he has his X Max. Uh, do you still have the Max? Or the nope. Oh, I do have the Max. I don't have the Hoss. Okay. So uh, the Max is looks like a heaping turd right now. I don't, care. <laughs> I don't care if we talk low C, Arma, it doesn't matter. Um, Replace, get the chassis done to it yet? The what? Get no, the actually, it didn't look that bad. So I, I have the chassis here. I did the um, the diff carrier. Or no, the yeah, diff carrier. What's that called? The um, oh, the bulkhead. Bulkhead. Yep. So, so. Uh, S- Southern RC says, I think Horizon has made some power moves, and I don't think Traxxas will remain idle. No. Like I said, I think it's planned. I think it's all planned. The one thing I know Traxxas can do is make people talk about Traxxas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that goes without saying. Yeah, you know what they're going to do? They're going to do a major dump if they bring out anything new. And there are going to be lots of new chassis. They're going to just dump one year, and it's going to be all new stuff. Up, ground up stuff. Yeah. No, they're just going to change the color. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's what they're going to have to do so they can so they can be talked about more fondly again. <laughs> it's just like when I did that, uh, the, I went to the river with the, we were three guys with three summits, which was very fun. Um, we, we ended up where we were talking and we were saying, okay, what would we upgrade on the summit? And there's not much to upgrade other than the ESC and the power system. Axles. The axles are pretty tough. They take a friggin' beating. I never I broke metal on mine. I thought they're metal. I thought they're, I thought they're metal. No, no, they're not metal. They're, br- no, they're plastic. They no. Yeah, mine's brushed too, and it. I never broke an axle on it. I broke I, two of them on mine one day. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's odd. Well, maybe they were the I'm wrong impressed. axles. Which that is weird. The front two axles are different length, and and the the front it's right. Actually, yeah, yeah, the front one on each is. is different lengths. Yeah, the front right fits on the rear left. They do that on the XL one as well. Oh yeah. Yeah. When I look at the summit, I, I see a vehicle that should be a torque monster. It is. <laughs> it's it it is. It's yeah, crazy. a lot of uh, there's actually people that use the summit for crawlers. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've yeah. seen that done too. I did and with mine. Very big it's it is a very good crawler. My problem with it or my issue is is that it's unstoppable kind of, but you need big rocks. You need something big to really uh, crawl over to actually yes. stop it. It's not a technical crawler, it's just a rock beater is all it, it, it is. It's a it monster beats the rocks truck into on submission. Rocks. <laughs> it beats the it's rocks a monster truck submission. on rocks. It's yeah. Now that's a cheater truck. The, yeah, the summit is. is a cheater truck, uh, but it's, it's so fun to cheat with it. <laughs> yep. Uh, what does it needs... cheat at? The what? Crawling, monster trekking. What is it? What does it cheat at? Crawling. 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 It's a crawler. Yeah, you can. Oh, it was yeah. it, it, your course tank. It seems like it'd be just a big oaf on there, like it, it, knocking <laughs> over cones. It, it uh, would knock over all the gates and all that. Yes, it, it's no fun on my trail because it, it will just like dominate everything. Uh, they're the wouldn't that's fit where they, in a lot of places either. It, that's yes. where they got the idea for the TRX4. They use that type of situation. They have the lock diffs, the uh, can lock independently, and all that type of stuff. That's how they that thing started that first. I don't know about that, but it makes sense to a point. Because I do have, you can unlock and lock the diffs and stuff yeah. on it. From the from the receiver, the transmitter, I mean. Yeah. No, mine didn't have that when I got it. I got mine used, and I had to fix a bunch of stuff before I could oh, even yeah. run it. Well, I didn't have go. the other That's probably why you broke a whole, That's probably why you broke a whole bunch of axles on it, because you got to use, and they probably put the wrong axles on it or something. No, I replaced all the axles before I ran it. Oh yeah. 
because they were all loose and sloppy. Hmm. So crazy. Yep. Uh, oh, Sir Tripolat is there. How are you doing, Randy? Hey, Randy. Hey, hey Randy. Randy. It's been a while since he's been on the video with us. Yep. Mr. Net Cruiser, are you planning on hopping on with us at all tonight? I have a couple of questions for you if you do. If not, I will email you. Net yeah, John has actually says, been on John John's been on the video more often than usual too the last month or so. Net Cruiser says in the chat, uh, Traxxas needs to make a no prep drag racer car. Yes. Yeah. yes they, got, they, they got all the stuff for it. Yeah. They already have the stuff. Yeah. Hey John, it's all done, man. Getting ready to Put take that down. With it next week. <laughs> <laughs> Put that down. down. Oh, Jake is upset because Jake you're not upset dealing with you're trucks. Holding that up. <laughs> okay, John, I'll email you later. Yeah, Tony, I don't know if you uh did you see my uh I think it was uh the bar you build where you broke the back shaft. Yeah. Did you see my uh my comment on that video? Uh, so you get a out of it. The, I, which one was it? Where you just jumped it up the hill and it landed wrong and it popped the other side. Yeah, I I don't like, remember landing wrong though. But it I was, know it it was one, of, one of your recent videos. I go, you just can't have nice things, Tony. Yeah. Oh yeah, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know what God always it. tells me to send it. <laughs> he you always wants me to hurt the vehicle. <laughs> that thing's a little bit problematic because they put a spool in the center diff mm -hmm. instead of a center diff. And when you have that much power and that big of a truck with that big a wheel, um, there's no give. And so it just broke them off. Luckily, I found after I spent 45 bucks on a, another steering or another uh, drive shaft, which those are stupid expensive. Um, it was an expensive mistake. Right. But I found out even more that uh, you could just buy the new pin. It actually has a grub screw, and I could have hmm. put a new one in. They're big enough that they actually put grub screws on them, and you can change out the dog bone and learn the hard way. Uh, yeah, like I, said, I, 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 I seen that, and I just had to. I just had to put. You can't have nice things, can you? Tony? I honestly can't. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's a comment here. A spark talk says, uh, "Will someone?" Tell me why Vanquish Kit's vehicle are so expensive. Because it's so quality. Are they considered upscale RC? Question mark. Who yes. is their market? So, Sean, why don't you tell us about uh, the Vanquish and how good they are? <laughs> if I remember correctly, he doesn't particularly like them. No, Sean does not like them. So, I don't know where he is from. He here. likes their axles, but he doesn't pretty much like the vehicles they make. He didn't like the axles. He didn't like that. Um, the, only... pump? the pumpkin hanging low, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Big Van... news, Brad. To, to me, Vanquish, <laughs> he Vanquish doesn't like them. Company that makes upgrade parts for trucks uh, for the SCX10. For years, they made upgrade parts for aluminum parts, and they made quality upgrade parts. What yes. they did is because there's a guy that actually works there and he designed a crawler, a, a, a truck uh, out of vault parts and things like that to make a, it's kind of Mercedes Benz, in other words, of, of uh, crawlers. Um, and it's all upgraded, not to the gills because you can't actually get upgrades for it, but it is like driving a Cadillac Um so you're driving a Ford or you're driving a Cadillac. So, so it's so fully Vanquish upgraded like, out of the box. Instead yeah. of having to buy all the upgrades, it's fully yeah. upgraded. They Chris is a Mercedes, then Capo's the Rolls Royce. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I don't know. Everyone runs the Vanquish parts out here on their crawlers and everything. Um, I can't afford the stuff myself. Yeah, I mean, I can't afford anything. It's in America. That's the other thing, too. And the thing is, I've got the fat axle housings on my SCX 10, and I can go the same place anyone with any of the Vanquish stuff has. Yeah. Yeah. So, to me, it's a driver. It's more the driver than the yeah. truck on a lot of. They say, it's, they say it's 10% the vehicle and 90% the person who's driving. 
Yeah. I mean, I'm well, not going to say this to tout my own horn, but we did an event at one of our local places and I got there late and I didn't see how they were running the thing. And I came out with my crawler with the one nine tires on it. And the guy was showing me where to go as I was going. No pre-run. I didn't watch anyone else run. I ran down as quick as I could to the thing before it ended. Went through the course. No penalties, no backups, no nothing. And I was the fastest time. It was all unintentional. It was just I saw where he was pointing. And as I walked up, I could see the line to take with the truck. Mm -hmm. I, 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 wanna... I was beating guys with rigs that were three times the price of mine and they were getting mad I, I'm just yeah curious. and some of it's more durability some of it's just that you want yeah. that to have metal parts um there's a I want got, for it it doesn't I necessarily make for, for they weight. stick on rocks more like they don't slide like the plastic does but they really are i mean they're they're quality parts and if you have something like they did a lot of um uh, stuff for the wraith and things like that with the bigger axles and those are really where you really want it when you're running a little more power than a crawler yeah and, uh, rock, and rock racing and stuff breaks the yetis all that the bombers those ar60 parts from um vanquish are are worth their weight in in gold basically mm -hmm. for the durability for that axle i think a lot of it for the scx10 is just bling you know yeah because um, like i said i got the fat housings on mine that are metal i've got all the other metal stuff on there as well from hot racing or whatever. Mm -hmm. The only thing not metal on mine now is the skid plate trans mount. And then a couple of the cross members in the chassis. That's the only yeah. thing that's left original on the truck from when I got it. Does anybody do pre-runner races, you know, like stuff like the rampage pro type things race those in some type of pre-runner fashion. We uh, used to have a class out here that ran at a local track, but since the track got, shut down because the owner of it was a bonehead <laughs> that of course went away you no, really think yeah. <laughs> you don't want me to <laughs> no but I, I would like to see i'd like to see people because uh, there's a lot of pre-runner type vehicles out there i'd like to see races with them hmm. yeah. make the, like their own baja 1000 <laughs> in, in a matter of speaking but i i it's just getting the group together and and getting it going it's a little... yeah i, I mean it. it makes it makes sense to have something like that because there's so many varieties of that vehicle get on it brad yeah if i get only on had it. the get money and the ability group. to move around everywhere maybe i could <laughs> who would join me if i did was able to do such a thing <laughs> it'd be a far drive for me uh, <laughs> You got to start a group and start uh, selling tickets. <laughs> I need someone who's good at make uh, getting things done like you, Frank, for you, events. You, you're, you're good at, at coming up with I'm good not, ideas. I'm, I, I, I'm good at thinking on. up the things, but you're good at planning the things, Frank. That's just who you oh, are. You're good at planning at those things. <laughs> I plan events here, and people are happy with the events I plan. Yeah, because so, uh, you're good at planning. It, it, it's just how it is. You're just... You can make a living in planning things. For the, for oh, the Connor, thank you. Crawling is king. I mean, he, he can, he can work alongside him with Parker because he's king. good at making events. No, hey. nobody, nobody complains about a crawling event. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's true. Got a couple guys talking about the Injora RC parts. Hey, I just got an Injora light kit coming so I can try something out with it. <laughs> There's these new uh, buggy lights coming out. Oh, yeah? Yep. What are they called? Buggy lights. I, I'm not going to mention the company <laughs> because Sean will have a, 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 a that's fit. But uh, they, they're making new things for those buggies for, for to have. So why don't you say Kyosho? That. Why don't you say the Kyosho name? Come on. You can they do can it. They can use it for Kyosho, too. Oh. No, I did see that, Brad. That, they Isn't look that cool? very interesting. Hmm. It makes sense too. It looks perfectly good on them. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. I think I just. I think he's talking about Tamia. Yeah, I, I didn't so. want to say the word. Now, had, now, now, Sean has to complain to someone else because I didn't say the word. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm just trying to. I'm trying to figure out like why my dashboard lights are blinking. Uh, <laughs> like you have hazard lights inside. <laughs> I don't know why. What controller are you using? 
I'm using my DX7. No, I mean light controller. Oh, uh, it's one from Killer Body. But they're uh, normally changing the port on it, or yeah, if it's got a slide switch, see if you bump the switch to a different position. No, I must have hit something on it there, like because neither just blinking. You know what I? Um, you know I. I love the that, that's actually like, the interior, like the radio and everything. Like, and if you touch I, I, your I, I, radio, I, I, if you hit the gas or turn the steering, does the blinking stop? No, it, it should have, but it's not doing that right now. I would actually like to see little I'm arms move around in those right. dials. <laughs> huh? I'd like to see some arms move around in those dials. Well, you can buy one that the arms yeah, move the it. dials too. I think, can, I, saw, I, think I saw. I think I saw a car like that. You can get one with the dials and everything will move. But this one here, everything, the steering wheel moves and this TRX4 and everything. I'm surprised you don't have something like that to go to the full hilt, uh, the shot. I, I saw one here, a guy here that made a small dash like that, but it was actually digital. So things yeah. were actually moving on that dash. It was yeah, a well, you can, dash. You can buy a new one there that's all digital and all the clocks will move and go up and down. I think actually Red Cat have one. Yeah, is it is it cool looking? Is it cool looking, Sean? The red cat one? Yeah, it actually is. Yeah, but it's expensive. I'm surprised you don't buy one of those to put in your trucks. Yeah, it's expensive though, Brad. Just the dashboard alone is a hundred and fifteen dollars yeah. or something. Yeah. I, I yeah, guess I guess if you really around. wanted to do a special beard, beard, uh, build like once every five years, you'd do something like that, right? No, I just build. I just make my own, like I did with these. And... Well, that price isn't bad compared to a Traxxas like kit. Oh, I know, yeah, Traxxas like kits are freaking crazy. Yeah, the problem is not everybody's capable of building. Some people just like buying stuff and running stuff, right, Tony? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, but but we but a lot of us like a lot of, a lot of us like building our yeah. stuff, and I, that's why Got I talk like that. Huh? <laughs> That's what I would. That's why I said a lot of us like to build kits. That's why I say it's good for someone who loves to tinker like that. And Sean's one of those type of people. Well, just for that tank, I'm not going to mute myself when I use this drill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just going to hold it. Okay. <laughs> cool. And I'm going to answer your question that you sent me a message. And, uh, Tony, yes, I am going on live tonight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what, we're live? No, we're we're live. I remember to subscribe to you again. So I said, unsubscribe from you after your last one. At 9.35, he asked me, are you going on? Like, he, he, he's as worse as Brad. Like, like, give me a sec. I was watching TV with my wife, and then I realized the time. I, it was like... Uh, 925 i go oh my god i gotta hurry up and go downstairs and turn on the lights and and get ready for the live stream i'm late and i bet your wife looked at you funny when you did that <laughs> yeah she did she goes you gotta hey, go man. play with you gotta go play with your friends, your friends hey you happen to have a lot of your friends and they are all over the world <laughs> yeah, she she calls you my little friends mm -hmm. i'm not a little same guy, thing so. for mine <laughs> so no, I admit I did the other day or last week or whatever. Yeah. I asked because I forgot about the time change. That's true. The time change. Yeah, but Arizona doesn't do that time change. I know. Arizona. That's why it threw me. I was like, wait a minute, what's going on here? And then he sent the email. He's like, yeah. And I'm like, oh, crap, time change. <laughs> You're the only one in mountain time that isn't actually on the mountain time. <laughs> Axio, Axiomatic says, yeah, yeah, thank you. You should go on. You should go live tonight. Yeah. So, uh, good idea. I think I will. You know, with with Tony's skills, I'm surprised he's not more popular on, on these things because he because that's just what he does for a living. Tony's skill. What skill? Come on, Tony. Making videos, making videos, and and, and not and, popular, uh, Tony. <laughs> no, no, yeah, Tony. I'm, I'm talking about because uh, I'm talking about the the because you make documentaries. I mean, you should be you should be. You uh, scared him. He's gone. God, what the heck did he leave for? Oh, he did because because you were telling me that he had no skills. You heard no. his feelings. No, I didn't say he had no skills because he. I said he had skills. I don't know what everybody's saying. Well, that's not what I heard. I heard you say that he had no skills. Did you guys? No, I did not no say skills? that. If I did, I I didn't even know I said it because that's not what I meant. Poor poor guy. <laughs> Tony knows I have great love for him. So because <laughs> I say. I'm pretty sure he has over 30,000 subscribers. <laughs> yeah. So that, I'm, I'm, that's I'm, pretty I'm, popular. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah but I'm, I'm talking about like Aaron type numbers. No, nobody has Aaron type numbers. <laughs> no. And Talbot type numbers. You should be really good at that. Mr. Oh, Magnet, man. I'm surprised I have as many subscribers as I do, and I'm glad I do. I'm not I'm complaining one thing. I'm getting close to 3,000, but the only way we can get with more subscribers is by everybody sharing the videos. So when you hear about somebody, it's sharing it on social media, sharing the videos different places, or actually inviting people uh, onto my stream, onto uh, AZ Froggies, onto Sean's stream on trail critters like it's inviting people to go see other people Word I, I do that's, i do that all the time for you frank okay i good. used to do it all the i used to do it all the time for uh uh you know steve od mm -hmm. three one two yeah three, one, three. Uh, you must have really pissed tony off brad i did yeah. not mean yes. I, I, <laughs> tony not come back here is he, in the chat? is he in the chat somewhere nope Nope. No, nope. he's no, not even in the chat. Even. Wow. I think I I think uh, Brad broke Tony. Your words are your words are like daggers, Brad. Yeah, that's it. I was not meaning that. No, now I'm gonna no have to deal with Tony now. I meant yeah. about the skill level that he has for videos. Doesn't matter what you meant. Just what you said. Yep. See, there he goes. He put in the, in the in the chat there. Tony says, "Is Brad feeling bad enough now yet?" <laughs> I didn't even know I said that he doesn't have the skills. I said he has the skills. I swear he I said he has the skills for making that that the, the, the you, you, you shouldn't tell people they don't have skills. First yeah. of all, I didn't say he didn't have skills. I don't know what everybody's talking about because I don't remember oh, saying he has no skills. Um, I mean, you need to take lessons from Brad's videos. How yeah. to make videos. No, uh, uh, I only have 185 people, so that's not <laughs> nothing. Oh, Kagan, that's bad. <laughs> Did Kagan say something? <laughs> you need to start learning how to get the chat up there. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Green Frog says, Tony, are you drawing your tears? LOL. Tony, I don't know how I misdid that. I don't know how people saying I said that, and I don't even remember Carl even saying that. I just thought I was saying something completely different. Tony knows I, I think highly Terrible. of him. I don't know why he feels that I was trying to put him down. Well, All I, I hear I, is pedal, 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 pedal back. <laughs> I, I, I was thinking more like this. I don't, I don't remember saying he didn't have the skills. The I didn't more, remember even saying that word like that. The that more was not you my talk, wording. The more you talk, the deeper you're going. So I think you should stop talking now. <laughs> and, <sighs> and, and letting me talk a little bit. I just want to tell you something, Brad. Uh, you did not say that Tony had no skills. You did say Tony had skills. Yes. <laughs> so I'm the one that kind of switched that around on you to make you believe that you said that. <laughs> well, I'm thinking how my phone takes up when I talk to it. It does stuff like that, and it brings it says stuff <laughs> that see. I didn't say. So see now, Tony's back. So <laughs> now, he's, he's good now. Tony, I'm waiting for that edible arrangement from uh, Axio here. <laughs> Tony, you know I think highly of you. <sighs> it sounded like it was a nice way of saying Tony you sucked. I did not I tell him he sucked. On. Tony does not suck. He's actually on one of the five. calmest people in this place. He's one of the calmest people who talk to <laughs> us. I just had to play it up, Brad. It's all good. But <laughs> all you gotta say is, boy, I come back at a good time. We, we, yeah. I don't know what the heck yeah. you were doing. <laughs> okay. I'm moving over to my soldering area, so I'm still listening, but I can't see the chat or anything like that. Well, guys. look for the flames. But at, least, okay. at, least, at least soldering doesn't make a noise. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why he's like Froggy doesn't good. have more subs now that he's gone. We should talk about him a little bit. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that I still hear you. <laughs> I always thought Tony should team up with a lot of people who make great videos. I, I'm not I mean, good enough you, to stand on my own, so... You know, I would like to see you. I would like to see you team up with Matteo because you travel the world. Maybe you'll find yourself in Switzerland and you can meet up with him and make videos to make a video together. That would be cool. Yeah. Monster oh. trucks running over his little trail trucks. Yeah. I will, yeah, destroy his his scenery. Yeah, you you destroy his scenery. That's yeah, you know. well, he has monster trucks too. So <laughs> Matteo does have monster trucks. 
Well, hey, hey Brad, he, he did travel on. We, we did travel. We did meet up. And we did make a video together. Axel Fest. Oh, Axel Fest. I, I, there you go. I, I'm talking about. <laughs> he can't even he, speak now. He, he's <laughs> talking about people with big, big numbers. John, you're not popular enough. That's yeah, what he's saying. That's, that's what I'm oh, John, John's one of my closest friends. I don't know what you're talking I'm about. John's one of my Brad closest friends. I talk to John a lot, and John knows doesn't that. doesn't think enough of us getting together. That's kind of what I'm gathering. Yeah. Brad, I want he, all of us to get together to make a video. That would just be cool. That'd be a lot Brad, of people, you showed but... your true callers when you, Tony even posted a Tamiya video for you, and you didn't even show I up. I sometimes don't even get you online for a whole day. Tony, I don't struggle. sometimes get on for a whole day, so I, I didn't even see it. No love, no love for Tony. Uh, I have Tony love for Tony. Says, <laughs> he Tony says, come on, Brad, do you need to see human resources? <laughs> yeah. He titles it vintage, and you don't even go see it, and it's a. I was show. off. I was. I, I sometimes don't I don't get online time. for twenty four hours. We were so. on a break. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see my newest video that I posted? If it was in the last twenty four hours, thing? I probably there's, did not. There's actually four hundred and nine people actually saw it, but you're not one of them. The summit going. The, the summit yeah. going into the water. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he went swimming a lot. They went swimming, yeah. The summits yeah. went swimming. They float. Did you know that they float? I'm surprised. Yeah. I'm surprised they don't. I'm surprised they don't hydroplane either. Okay, it can go fast enough. Oh, they it don't reminded me of the uh, the the whistling diesel video. <laughs> Where he's in the ocean. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Did you Which watch one? the um, two point four hours of the mullets? No. Oh, it was hilarious. Hey, Dave, have you seen Whistling Diesel Tank? No, I didn't see that. He's he just recently bought a, himself a, an actual uh, General Lee charger. Oh yeah, yeah. And he's like doing crazy stuff in it. He he has a monster truck. He's a YouTuber. Okay. And he just took it. He put eight wheels on it, so he did double. So he, you know, monster trucks. It'd be like this, yeah. side by side, stacked. Okay. And he took it out into the ocean. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, and did it work? Going Florida. How fast was it going? Well, he got pulled over <laughs> by yeah. the Coast Guard. <laughs> oh, what did the Coast Guard the... say? Well, they said that his uh, his license, his boat license that he spray painted on the truck, didn't match a, a Silverado or whatever it was. Yeah, it, it wasn't doesn't, they, they, it the doesn't Coast Guard had to be playing with him. It, it doesn't match a, a silver Chevy or something like that, they said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it was uh, all arranged. Yeah. I'm seeing more and more people uh, online sometimes getting in trouble with the cops doing their speed runs and <laughs> driving on <out of> roads. <laughs> now, I'd be interested to see if the Lozy does fit because those are pretty big tires. I wonder if it does float. Depends if they're vented or not. Yeah. Yeah, block yeah so they got a $70 fine, Axio says. Uh, yeah, block your holes, block your vents, and send them in your uh, in your pool Kong. at the back. Tone. Oh, careful! I was gonna Kong say, don't be blocking any vents. Conk hole, conk, conk, one conk head uh, float. Yep. Yeah. But I'm sure your fish won't matter. Won't won't mind. I mean, <laughs> well, you're above the water. Uh, fish would be stupid to come running up to it under its wheels. <laughs> Ooh, what's that? <laughs> All right, we're going to replace axle pieces. So you're still working on that big axle? Yeah, I'm, I'm actually replacing it. You can see how they go together, actually, have it apart. <sighs> Not to talk about monster trucks again. <laughs> but uh, did you, get, you said you bought new axles, right? Uh, yeah, but they don't come to – it says December, but I'd be surprised if they come before January. Oh, yeah? and the trucks are supposed to arrive even though you you have an in with them they're you're still not getting parts passed yeah well, well they yeah. still got to get them from the vendor they've only got they're waiting for the trucks to ship so, so they, the they had several of them air freighted right to get to you but it's expensive and okay. so they they gave those yeah. out for like the video thing and um to a couple influencers but the rest of it's waiting on the boat or whatever okay okay that's a problem. A lot of stuff right now. Like a lot of hobby stores are just waiting and stuff. Yeah. Coming in. Yeah. 
There's a lot of things that are out of stock, and even things you would never expect to be out of stock. Yeah, yeah. Out of stock. yeah oh, the, uh, the date, the date even is kind of flexed from when they told me it was originally going to be was a December date, but I think just to be safe because I can't trust any of the shipping stuff, mm-hmm. and with elections, who knows what's going to happen with everything? They just, I think they're playing it safe. Plus, they want it to be this release. I don't know if you read the thing on it. They want the, the hobby shops to get them the same day that the people get them that pre-order. That way people don't feel like they have, you know, if they want to get it first, they got to pre-order from Horizon Direct. Yeah. They don't want to be stealing that from the <clears throat> hobby shop. So they're making sure that it lands there at the same time. Okay. So that yeah. nobody has like first dibs because they pre-ordered online versus in a hobby shop. Hmm. Who who's so. making those these axles is there, uh, uh, for those for that truck? Is there a, a vendor that's doing the axles for them that are not doing it in house? Well, they don't do anything in house. It's all done in China. But it's their it's their low C uh, manufacturer. Yeah, it's their design and everything. Yeah, it's all it's all from them. <clears throat> so, so technically, it's in house. It's an in-house design. It's an in-house vendor they use in China um, that I think only does their stuff because they have enough for through Horizon to give them. But I don't know that for sure. I'm not going to work for them. I'm speculating, okay. fake newsing it. So. Well, you're, you're, you're planning on working for who? Me? Myself. Yeah. Well, that's what you do all this time. I mean, what are you talking about? You said uh, so it sounds like you're talking about something else. No, he's talking about the parts. Uh, I'm expecting Tony to have an epiphany. He's going to make something one day, and he's going to sell it and make big money. <laughs> oh, I'm not a designer, man. <laughs> like Everybody looks at these trucks, and it, I crack up when I watch the comments because all they talk about is changes, and if they'd have done this, I'm like, dude, this is freaking awesome. <laughs> like, What are you talking yeah. about? You already wanted to upgrade everything on it. Like, there's people that are designers and, and always thinking about what to do to things. I, I could see you. I could I'm see just you trying make, not to break it so I can keep driving it. <laughs> I, I could see you making uh, uh, making your own uh, cameras for the hobby. It's just a Camera? lot of money, 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 yes. other bikes, other thing. Look at that. People are getting my chat, my stickers. Woohoo! You know, Tony, I think you, since you know a lot about cameras, because that's what you do for a living, you could probably make your own that works best for the hobby. You know, fitting them on the vehicles. GoPros. Yeah, I was going to say no, GoPro. No, he GoPro can make it, no, I know he can make his own GoPro-like thing. I think he could do it. I think he knows how to work the equipment to make his own equipment for the his own cameras. You know what's good and what's bad. What works and what doesn't. I would use the top industry stuff, and I would just make a mount. If anything, I wouldn't. I wouldn't reinvent the wheel. There's already you're not going to yeah. compete with Canon and Sony and GoPro. Tony Vision, yeah. come on. Tony Vision. Tony camera. <laughs> what I do want is I want a controller that has a camera built into it. But even that, as much as I want it, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense because it becomes dated, or your controller becomes dated. You you could you could also uh, it's you tough could also, when you can't just change it out whenever you want to get something new. I think you could do a tutorial on how to use the cameras properly for the hobby. I've done that. So this is the Sean I was talking about earlier, Sean Saley. Those are yeah, beautiful. He's awesome. uh, he does a styrene work. So this car that looks like it actually, came from uh, the company I can't speak of in front of Sean. It looks exactly like theirs. No, this is done like all with styrene. This is all styrene work. That is sweet. That's nice. Oh. I'm mildly impressed. Oh, look at that. He's I got like a hole. He made the engine and everything with the yeah. turbo and stuff. Radiator. I like, really like that. The work has gone really like very good. Is so, it all metal? Uh, I don't think, that plastic. I, I think this is metal. It's all metal to you. He's yeah. using small chromoly metal. I don't know what he's using, but he's he's been doing some very good work. Well, Who did you get those tires? Those tires look familiar. <laughs> uh, the fronts are very familiar. Yes. Yes, the tire fronts are very familiar. Yeah, and even the uh, what he's using for the 
steering also. I wonder if he made the rims too. No, I don't think he makes the oh. rims. So Sean Saley, I want I want him to remake my trailer uh, into a camper toy hauler kind of. I would like to see him on your chat one day, like we have people. Yeah, he's not he's not a computer guy. He's he's very good with his hands, but doing with computers and and doing some different things, he's he's not that good. I appreciate that about people. Yeah. 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 Spend just little like, time on the computer and actually doing real things with their hands. It's amazing. Uh, yeah. yeah, working with your hands is what makes the world go around. Yeah. <laughs> so, I used to I used to always laugh at my mom because she worked on a computer all day long at work, and she was home one day and she goes, "The computer keeps on asking for the any key. Which which key is it?" Hmm. <laughs> did you Did you tell her? Did you help her out? Oh yeah. Okay, good. But I'm just saying, I, after, after I after I fell on the floor laughing and rolling, yeah, <laughs> yeah I would have too, and I would have gotten smacked. <laughs> oh, I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised she didn't pull you by the ear. Yeah, the end of vacuum <laughs> yeah. cleaner. That's it. Yeah. Hey, I've seen vacuum cleaner motors used for drills. <laughs> I've seen vacuum cleaner motors come flying at my head. Yeah. <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> my mother threw it at me. <laughs> you, you, you took it apart and she threw it at you? No. <laughs> threw the whole thing at me. Oh. Well, Tony, when are you going to start doing um, uh, <clears throat> videos of, of how to become successful and, and, and doing um, uh, like actual medic is saying here, you'll have to buy my courses, do courses online. How to oh, like become a, like a, a YouTube, cabinet. Uh, I'm surprised. Tony no, just I'm going to wait until Brad says I've made it because apparently I haven't made no, it yet. So. Okay. Well, I, I'm surprised you have it the way you, uh, the way you, uh, he, he said I haven't. So there it is. No, I said, <laughs> I'm, no I'm trying to say why ha I'm surprised you haven't made it in the sense that why aren't you more Keep going. popular? more popular with people when you should be, there especially when you do it. Especially, keep especially keep when digging. you work with famous people, they go to you for your ability to work the camera. I make documentaries. You should Even be making you're a lot of money. Good, Tony, you have not made it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he's saying. I was, I, I was hope, I, I'm surprised Tony hasn't had more money than with, with, with his abilities. I know. I need more money. The more money you have, the more you spend. So yeah, well, yeah, we know that's... we know where Tony would spend it on two things: more camera equipment and cars, RC cars. <laughs> well, you think I've done this year? How many RCs has Tony bought this year? I've lost count. Uh, <laughs> probably twenty. <laughs> How many has he sold? The, the funniest I... one. The funniest one. Like the, the night before the big rock was released, Tony's like, "Oh, I got it." Like. Just hold off a little bit or anything. The next day, it was like, order the big rock. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> well, sometimes he gets it before everybody else because he is getting uh, things talked. He talks to people of various companies. So he does He does make it there. But I'm surprised you don't have more people wanting to be with you. Let them in the White House, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> what? He, he should do a documentary of the presidents. Well, he, he did. I did, did film. I did film the, uh, with Trump this year. He, he did film Trump this year. Did I, you know I, that? I remember you saying that. I don't remember and, if you actually had a conversation with him though. And the Pope. So when are you going to run for president, uh, Tony? I vote for you, Tony. <laughs> yeah, but, if but you're, you're not in the U.S. <laughs> you're not. You, you're not American. <laughs> I still I vote. I still vote for him. <laughs> he'll get dual citizenship. You're allowed to appear on this <laughs> he'll get, either. He'll, yeah, he'll right. have a house in the United States and become dual citizenship. That Jake could do that. He could actually do that, couldn't you? If you become a dual citizen. Yeah, well, I've got yeah. I've got three passports. I have an Irish passport, an English passport, and an American passport. Uh, yeah, you could have dual and two, citizenship. And two of them are under John, and one is under Sean. Take mm -hmm. that. Okay then. <laughs> I'm with Axio, and he notices I wear the same outfit every day. Uh, you quit your job, buy more toys, and wear the same outfit every day. Let, let's talk about what basically colors you wear my the life. most. What's basically the colors you wear the most of the time? Um, black, pink. 
I was going to say wears black. black. <laughs> black. Camo. Black. He wears black. <laughs> Camo and gray. Uh, I think a gray khaki. occasionally. Khaki. I wear khaki pants all the time. I, I, I swear you I swear you we have some gray shirts that you've worn before. So <laughs> Mr. Magma votes for you for president for Horizon Hobby. Ah, yeah, yeah, you'd change things around big time there, Tony. I know you would. <laughs> I was gonna say that White, monster House, truck. White House Rose Garden looks sweet with a monster truck track in it. Yeah. <laughs> you should have ran on the you should have ran it on the, ho- the White House crowd. You guys don't cool. need stimulus checks. You guys need RC cars. Yeah, yeah. yeah I want RC cars. <laughs> I'm going to stimulate Horizon Hobby. Yeah, a trillion dollars to give everybody RC cars. Do some oval <laughs> racing in the Oval Office. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like where you're heading. Carpet with this. oval racing in the Oval Office because it's carpeted. <laughs> Yeah, you know, if Tony became president, he would be seeing him playing uh, on, the, on the White House grounds with RC cars. He'd be seeing him doing it all. Ah, I would totally do and it. The Secret Service would be like, be holding their heads. What the hell's wrong with this? Guy? No, I'd make <laughs> one of them race me. Yeah, yeah like, you know, oh, <laughs> he would have mini Z's going around the desk, and you would have mini monster crawler dares yeah. on the desk. And he'd have monster Raminator. trucks running across the greens. <laughs> Here you go. Raminator through the rose rose garden. <laughs> yeah, I, know, I know a guy that's going president, to president is avoiding coronavirus to uh, <laughs> spend time at cars. the RC track. Yeah, social <laughs> distancing. An, you would make an RC track. You know, all presidents have actually added something to the White House after they've been there. They so go golfing. You, you, would add, you, would add a, you would add an RC track. You would add many different types of RC tracks. <laughs> I don't golf. I would do RC. Yeah, Axi- Axi- Axiomatic says you'd have to make sure those RCs weren't made in China. Yeah. Yes, you'd have to make sure they weren't made in China. I'd be driving all Vanquish. American yeah. made. Yeah, but Vanquish, you look at the box of Vanquish, it's made in China. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and he'd invite all his friends in the hobby that he talks to uh, online and he'd invite them to do races on the grounds of the White House. Like uh, Vanquish you- is a an a Cana- uh, American company, but they manufacture all their stuff in China. It's crazy. Not all. They have some machines in house. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> they just got new ones. But I think that's more their wheels, tires, or yeah. wheels, if not you, tires. If you want to make yeah. money, you don't have choice. I yeah, ask so somebody... you, Brad, can you? I'm going to ask you, Brad, can you read my shirt? Because you're really forcing me that way right now. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, your your name is blocking the, your writing on your shirt, most of it. Okay, how's about that for you, Brad? Right. How's about that? Yeah. Need a drink? I need a drink. Need a You're drink. forcing me to that right now. Hey, hey, yeah. what, are you, what are you talking about? The Irish love to drink. I don't need to force you. You just do oh, it. So now, <laughs> you're being, so now you're being stereotypical? <laughs> you're, you're being stereotypical with me. Tony's not uh, famous. You brought up the drinking. You're the one who brought up the drinking. Tony's not good enough to be. Uh, I never said famous. Tony wasn't good enough. I was just talking. Sean's a drunk. Be... Yeah. Sean's a drunk. No, I know Sean's not a drunk. I know Sean's yeah. Irish drunk. Irish drunk. I'm waiting for the Lucky Charms comment to come in. Yeah. yeah. I ne- no. The truth. The truth about Lucky Charms, though, I never even seen Lucky Charms till I came to America. Yeah, you said you never had that cereal in the, in the never, Ireland. Never even heard of it till I came to America. Me and Trill well, Critter. Irish Spring, uh, as, as same as the soap too. You didn't know about the soap either. Yep. Me and Trill Critters are Canadian. What are you going to say about us Canadians? Waiting, waiting, Brad. We're waiting. I love the bacon you guys have. The bacon. <laughs> so now you're associating us with pigs. <laughs> you guys are oh, stop it. man. Yeah, you know it, I don't think poorly of you all. So <laughs> we play in mud all the time. And, wow. And we have our nose in the mud all the time digging. Wow. <laughs> So the only thing, Brad, about Canada, it's like a loft apartment over one big, huge house party. <laughs> well, they got a lot of land to do a really big house party. Oh. Oh, over your head like a jumbo jet. Let, oh. Let's have a party right now and let's start saying bye to some people. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll start with I'm John ran. Martin. Oh. <laughs> Who are you starting with, Frank? John. John Martin. <laughs> Fun time tonight, uh, but guess I'll catch you guys all later and uh, charge batteries up and break something. There you go. 
Uh, we'll go with Brad. Thanks for having me, Frank, as always. I love having our uh, funny, silly conversations. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks for coming. And we'll go with our Irish drunk. Uh, everybody, thanks for taking the time to stop into the chat. Uh, thanks, thank you very much for having me. Yeah, lucky charms. Maybe I should say he was a fighting Irish. Maybe that would have been a better thing to say. And, and we'll go with Kermit the Frog. <laughs> hey, Kermit, thanks for having me. Uh, thanks for the invite. Everyone, stay safe out there and go have some fun. Cool. Thank you very much, Phil Curter RC. Oink oink. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having me, Frank. And uh, it was a good laugh to me. Thank hey, is Canadian much. bacon the leanest bacon you can buy? So no, it's not. Did you ever try Irish bacon? Uh, I don't know if we even can get it in the States. Yes, you can. You can get it. Where? The only place they call Canadian bacon Canadian bacon is in the States. In, in America. Uh, yeah. in, in, in Canada, we don't call that Canadian bacon. It's just bacon. bacon. It's just bacon. <laughs> uh, Tony, why don't you say bye? Yeah, as the uh, most unpopular person ever running for president, um, <laughs> I would <laughs> renounce Brad's citizenship. Oh, come uh, on, Tony. Come on, Tony. I was born in this country. <laughs> and thank you all for a really good night tonight. You're getting deported, Brad. Thank you very much for coming. You know, I'm being exiled. No, it's an exile. It's calling it exiling, being an exile. Yeah. Enjoy <laughs> Russia, Brad. <laughs> Well, guys, thanks for coming. Sorry, I got three trucks missing. I forgot about this one here, which is in my trunk still. That's my Winnebago that is usually up there. So uh, next week, I'll fill up the holes so you won't notice that something's gone. Uh, thanks a lot for coming down, and uh, thanks for the chat tonight. And then next week, I think we'll come up with a shop subject because it's going to be close to the – not the end of the year. Maybe I – no, we'll keep that for a little later on during the year. I, I want to come up with an RC chat that's going to be what's your favorite RC of the year? So that you've bought it or not bought it, what do you think was the best RC that came out in 2020, even though the COVID thing happened? Uh, but I, I want to come out with a, a new truck. What were something that came out in 2020? Not not a revamped truck or something. So something new. Uh, let's I was about- waiting for that, Tony. So. Yeah, take, but here's what you should do is you should just call it the best uh, RCs of 2021. Just clickbait that thing. Yeah, you'll, you'll, get the, you'll get the most views ever. Yeah. There we go. Well, next more week, popular next, than Tony. I don't you know, know if I'll be. I don't know if I'll be in next <laughs> week. Next Thursday. Uh, I gotta get Tony to make me an awesome thumbnail there. Yeah, next uh, Thursday uh, it's Thanksgiving though. Yeah, next Thursday. Best, best RCs so far of 2021. Yeah. Maybe I should make myself a, uh, a a weird thumbnail and with glow around myself and and holding an RC and ah. and a halo over your head. But if you do that, if you do that, you got to make sure Richie's in the chat because then Richie can give you the top ten upgrades. For yeah. true. <laughs> you mean Rich Driftomaniacs or or another another or other one? No, oh, Driftomaniacs. Yeah, he can give you the top ten upgrades on the new twenty twenty one car. So <laughs> cool. Well, guys. Don't forget, keep those batteries charged and uh, go out there and have some fun and break something like that. You can fix it. Talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye. Both CCXRC. <laughs> <laughs>